All right, kind of got this going. Screwdriver popped the cap off. 16 millimeter. Loosen both sides. And then I take my extension I've lost. Already. Loosen up the track tensioners. I spray everything right away. BB blaster. Slid up in the air. A ratchet strap. I got my little stand here that drives me insane. Let's see if I can adjust this now. Don't fall over. gotta come down. I think they're bad. I'm gonna replace those bearings. That's tight. Looks like I got a little cotter pin here I gotta loosen up in order to get that off. I'll be back. I'll find what I need. Alright, it is a three millimeter. Loosen that up. Spring behind it. No good. All right, let's take that bearing out. That is no good. All right, I'll get this set up. Okay, we gotta get that uh, clip out of there. So I got my sort of clip pliers. These are kind of nice. You can, or you can shift. 
merely close. We need them to open. Oh wait, we need them to close. What am I thinking here? Ooh, got lucky on that. Okay. Now we pound her out. All right, close your ears. Old bearing. New bearing. I believe that's not the part number or what? Where are you at here? Oh, that's the right one. Ooh, that's nice. You know where that clip goes. Alright, nice and clean. Ooh, it popped right in. That's nice. Uh, almost right in. Let's see. I'm go over to the vise and I'm just gonna clamp it in. Let's see if I can get a setup so you can watch. Okay, the bearing's got to be pushed up. Need a block of wood if you need to. Lock of wood and pound it in. Nice, new bearing. Okay, let's see what here. Let's see if I can get this back in. See these, I got it out. Done. We put it back on now. Oh, that's nice. That's bad. All right, let's go put it back on. All righty. Get it to the 
side here, okay. Everything there looks good. Got a washer right here, that stays on. You must need somebody to hold the other side. Put this flat or flush. Come on. All right. She's done. On uh, to the other side. All right, I already got it loose, so and off we go. Record time. I don't even deal with this camera. Ugh. Boom, boom, washer, that'll help, close your ears, clean it, There. Camera. You see? I think it's in, I'll just kind of move a circle here. Boom, done. Double check. Ooh, new bearing. Moving on. Tripping. Camera. This guy and this guy over here. This guy's not too bad. These I think I just put in. This 
cap here to lose. I'm going to pull that off. Yeah, he's coming out. The other side's good. This guy doesn't want to spin. And he sounds like crap. So we'll get those off. Got a 13 millimeter holding the back side. 13 millimeter picking this up. I'll do this one slow mo. All these bearings are the same for all the wheels. All the same. I knew I got lucky on those other ones. Hmm. Come on. Not cool, man. Not cool. not want to come out of there. There it goes. He's stubborn. Okay. smaller socket plug your ears oh. I'm gonna have to give her my camera don't fall over. Don't fall over. Let me straighten you. I'm gonna have to give her on this one. Okay, let me put a longer shaft on there. PB Blaster. Oh, 
what's coming on now? Plug your ears. Whew. Oh, it is a different bearing. Those sons of bees told me they're all the same. Oh. oh, they're all the same bearing. Oh, you, oh, okay. <sighs> Guess like I'm going for a ride. Fucking bastards. Ugh. And it's like a 35 minute ride too, one way. You know, this is a different suspension, so that could be why they're different. Or maybe that guy's an idiot, I don't know. Because the stock suspension was a 121, and the guy I got it from put a 136. I don't know if that's the reason they're different or if the guy's an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going for a ride. I'll be back. All right, I am back. New bearings. Well, if you have the stock suspension in your sled for the MXZ 800 HL 2004 Adrenaline, all your wheels are the large bearings. The suspension in my sled is a, a newer suspension with the 136 track. The 6 inch wheels are the smaller bearings. The 7 inch wheels are the larger bearings. So the part number on the smaller bearings And while I was there, I grabbed some uh, hood latches or uh, side panel latches, ten bucks a piece. These little bearings are ten bucks a piece. They're more expensive than the large bearing, but these is probably a good time to put in because you got to get underneath and you got to rivet it from the inside out. So we're gonna put those in before we put the suspension back up. All kinds of good stuff. Okay, use a washer, socket. Press this in. Turn around. Probably would help to put a little oil on. So I got three bearings. So I'm going to do the two front wheels because they take the most abuse. I was just going to do the one front and one side. I'm going to do both the fronts. And I'm looking at the rears. And the one in the middle, the tire, the wheel, the bearing is the best out of the three. So I'm going to take these and put them on the outside wheels in the back. So they won't go to waste.
sure that clip is in. Sometimes it just doesn't look like it's in. Beautiful. We'll put this one back on and then pull the two front wheels off. Okay, let's go. Take the very front wheels out. Why oh, those are the front wheels? Let's see. Let's see what was in there. Pull those out. And I'm gonna pull these off, and we'll change them all. I'll be back. Well, I was wrong about the rears. They're the small bearings too. So the only bearings on the sled that are the large bearings are the idler. Everything else is small. These bearings aren't bad. So I'm just going to leave the rears alone then. I'll just change out the fronts. That one doesn't want to spin. This one really don't want to, the bearing doesn't want to move. This one messed up too. So these are good. I'll just leave those alone. We'll change these out. Holy crap. I can always change those later. Okay, oh, there we go. thinking I could probably just press these out easier with let's just do that <sighs> don't want to have to beat on them as hard
pawn them out. Close your ears. Close your ears. These wheels are 147s. We got a lot of shit inside of them. Can get started. It's just going to get pressed in. Okay. In my socket. Beautiful.
If we only had some snow, it's another 70 day, 70 degree day. <sighs> if we only had some snow. Beautiful. I don't know when it's ever gonna snow. The weather we're having, I don't think it's gonna ever snow. Yeah, put those back in. And then uh, we'll put the steps on. Alright, be back. The way they came off, clip to the outside. You can see the number. So I'm going to put them back in. Tricky. Can't forget, I got your limiter straps. I'm gonna loosen those up. A plastic cap. Makes noise. Detector. Oh, that's a lot better. That one's good. Alright, let's see if I can get this in on this side. Sweet, moving on over. Up and down, up and down. <sighs> All right, you guys see what I'm doing in here? Alright, washer, nut. Gotta check all the bolts on here, make sure everything's tight. Especially that bottom shot. It came loose on me last year. The bolt came out, hit this tire. I thought the brakes were on. I'm doing it now instead of the ground freezing 
wet and snow all over the garage floor. Beautiful. Now, gotta get these back on. If I can do it without seeing it. Yeah, I think I got it. Much nicer to work on after a pressure wash. Oh, oh, no, not getting it. Oh, oh. oh shock's in the way. Come on, ow. Come on. I think I got it. Yeah, that's on. Got that one on. All right, what's next? You can do the limiter straps. Well, you got the right size tools. Right now, it's almost to the last hole. Let's see if I can get you tilted up. Pretty tight. I know it's suspension's down right now. I'd like to go two holes, but I can only go one, so we'll just do the one, see how it rides. Get more lift, more wheelies. See, it was there. It actually go up too, up a hole on both of them. Huh. Should we do that? I, mean, I can always change it later, right? here and here. Screw it. See if I can pull some wheelies. Can I just put it back? Or put it up one?
Beautiful. It's loose now. Let's see if we can get the other one from here. Trying to be quiet. The tighter, the more the front end stays down, the looser it comes up, right? That's how it rolls. So we'll go up. Uh -huh. And then up. Are you still? Oops. All right. The bottom ones are tight. Yeah. They're both the same, they're both even. Yep, looks good. Oh. Now we can adjust our back blocks. There it is. Where is it? This one is already adjusted properly. The thin side. So let's make sure it's tight. Yeah. The thicker, the more you'll keep the front end down. The thinner, the more you get the front end up. My understanding. This one's loose. So if you put it a thicker end, keep the front end down. So you got that, or there, or there. We want thin. Just when it hits here, 
Now, for tension. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can adjust this. I have it all the way for the tightest, tightest for my weight. So that's set good. I think everything else is good. Shocks you can set here. S, H, soft, hard. I know right's pretty good, so wherever it's set, I'm gonna leave it. All right. I think we can, uh, oh, I gotta put those things in. They riveted from the inside out, so I gotta figure out how am I gonna rivet gun up in there. Crap, or if it even matters, I'll have to see where the track rides. Yeah, these are shot. So let me figure that out and I'll come back to you.